Hello, it's Vlogmas and I decided that I'm gonna challenge myself and participate. So I'm not going to promise that these will be super high quality produced or that they will be very long, but I love a good creative project and I'm up to the challenge. So today's December 1st, it's Friday, whoop whoop. And I'm gonna share my sister got this for me. So it's by the tea brand Puka, I think is how you pronounce it. And it's a tea advent calendar. So I am going to have some tea for this, obviously every day leading up to Christmas Eve because it goes up to the 24th. So let's see what tea is for today. All right, so we're gonna open it. And let's see, hey, look at this. So cute. So I gotta figure out somewhere to hang it. And let's see, where is day, where is day one? <laughs> ah, here it is. So this is day one which is feel new. What kind of tea is this? Let's see. So this one is a clean fusion of anise seed, fennel, and cardamom. Okay, so let's try it. So they said boil only 210 degrees Fahrenheit and you let it steep for five to 15 minutes. So I don't think I've ever had this tea before, so I'm looking forward to trying it. So we're gonna make a cup and I have to figure out where to hang this, but isn't this so cute? Cause you can tell it has a little hole so you can hang it somewhere and follow along. So we're gonna drink this tea. All right, so I got my tea and let's give it a try. Mmm, it's good. I did put a little bit of honey in it, not a whole lot. I let it steep for about mm, 10, 15 minutes. I'm a person I usually don't take my tea bags out. So what that means is the tea just gets stronger and stronger. That's just a personal thing that I do, but obviously other people don't. So with this Vlogmas, I realized what I can do is do the cycle syncing series and share the different things that I do in the different menstrual phase, the different phases of your cycle and what I'm eating and things like that. So let's see if we can commit to this. So right now I am in menstrual phase. Today is day four of my period. My period typically lasts five days. So one more day to go and we are good. So what I usually tend to eat during my cycle is uh, things that are salty and things that have um, like sea veggies and those types of minerals magnesium, making sure that I take that. So I'll share. So what I usually do is, um, this is usually around the time that I may eat fish for the, the minerals, like the minerals that you would get from the sea, the water, those types of things. So like I had salmon for lunch earlier and I had uh, some rice that went with it. Types of teas I like to drink during my menstrual phase is peppermint tea because I have a lot of bloating. Uh, it's not significant, but I do tend to bloat, especially during the first two to three days of my period. So peppermint oil, peppermint oil, peppermint tea tends to just help me. Uh, it helps with the bloat and it's just comforting to me. So I think psychologically my body is like, oh, we're getting some tea, we feel safe, we can relax a little bit more and calm down. I also like to eat um, seaweed. <laughs> the, 
The way that I usually eat it though is if you've ever had the seaweed chips that you see, they're popular in a lot of Asian markets. You can find them at Trader Joe's too, like roasted seaweed. So I get that for the, the salty, the salt minerals that you get because when you're losing the blood during your menstrual phase, you are losing some minerals too that you have in that in that blood. So I like to eat seaweed chips or like a, I guess that's what they're called, like just roasted seaweed. It's really good to me. It's not everybody's thing, I get it, but it works for me. And then for magnesium, I'll show you what I get for my magnesium fix. I use this brand and I've used this brand for many years. It's called Calm and it's a powder. And you put about a teaspoon in your water and you just mix it up and you drink it. So this one is a flavor. They have a plain one if you're not big on flavors. And I take this at night before bed because it helps you, it helps you fall asleep and get really good restful sleep. And so this is how I get magnesium. So I don't take this every single night, uh, but I usually can kind of tell I'm in tune with my body at this point and what it needs. And so like tonight, I probably will take this before bed and I can feel the difference. Magnesium also helps with bloating too. And it also helps with your colon health and helping you regular because everybody, when you wake up first thing in the morning, you should be having a bowel movement. If not, that impact of waste is just sitting in your intestines and that's not good because it's waste. It's of no use to your body. So it needs to come out of your body. So it also helps with that, making sure that you have a morning poo and that it's a, a good morning poo and really helping clean you out. Other things that I like to eat are mushrooms during my period. So I will usually just put it in a soup. I like to have a lot of soups during my period. It's just something that you don't have to think very hard about. It's warm, it's comforting. You're already uncomfortable and bloated and crampy. So love soup. So I'll usually make some sort of soup with a clear broth, uh, add some veggies, like some leafy green vegetables, like kale or spinach. And then I'll put mushrooms, some green onions, and you know, flavor, flavor the, um, the water. If you are not like vegan vegetarian, you can use like chicken broth or beef broth. Um, if you're a vegetarian, vegan, you can do veggie broth or you can use water and just add your own seasonings for that and you can make your own like homemade broth. So those are the things that I typically eat during my menstrual phase. But yeah, I like to drink lots of hot beverages too. I have an aversion to cold beverages during my cycle. They just, during my period, it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel good. So... I don't know if these are going to be interesting vlogs or not, but we'll do it. We'll see how the craft develops as we go through Vlogmas. So I think this is all I'm going to do for day one. I don't really have anything else interesting to come in here and show. Maybe I can share different projects that I'm doing too, different um, crafting projects. So let's see where the journey takes us. Until next time, guys, stay fly, stay flourishing, and there'll be another vlog tomorrow.